guys, it's Coach Adlai. In this video, we're gonna be working on side handstands and side handstand quarter turns uh, for beam. Now, these skills are mainly for level twos and maybe some level threes, but if you're an eager level one, feel free to work with us and just be careful. Awesome, let's get started. So for this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys what activity we're doing, how many times we're doing it, then I want you guys to pause the video, go try that activity however, times, however many times I say, and then come back. So our first activity, we're just gonna be doing five cartwheels to warm up. Obviously that looks like this. We start our lunge, squeeze our whole body, try, as, try your best cartwheel five times. Alright, next what we're going to be doing is 10 side handstands against the wall. Now, from making this video, I realized that my family has like no empty wall space. It's just not something that we have. So, I'm using this tiny little piece of wall. I recommend you guys find a bigger wall that doesn't have anything on it um, if you're not as comfortable. But, that looks like this. And you guys are holding and then coming down. Alright, so now that you guys have practiced your side handstands with a wall, we're going to be trying them without a wall. So that's sort of going to look like a cartwheel, but we stop in the middle and then come down as if it were a handstand the whole time. I'll show you what that looks like. Then after, pause the video and try this 15 times. Alright, now we're going to try a similar skill, except for we're going to try and hold our handstand for longer, and we're going to bring our feet together at the end, sort of like a cartwheel step together. That looks like this. Now we're going to start working on our Wendy's. To do this, we're going to do the same skill we just did, except in the middle, we're going to pick up our bad arm, all right, and then come down the same way we would have. That looks like this. Now we're going to finally work on our side handstand quarter turn as best as we can without a beam. Of course, we're on the floor. Please be careful of all the stuff around you and that you're twisting on maybe a carpet or even hardwood. So that looks like this. You guys are gonna try and hold your handstand, lift up your bad arm, and then twist out. You should be twisting toward that arm, sort of like bringing that shoulder around. And if you're starting facing this way, you should be landing facing this way. Alright, so here's that skill. Make sure you're holding your hands in and squeezing your whole body. And for our last activity, we're going to go over some conditioning that's really good for our side handstands that we can all do at home. First thing is our hollow holds and uh, tuck ups. Those really are going to strengthen our stomach muscles that are very important during our handstands and keep our back straight. So our whole hold looks like this. Alright, I'm squeezing my bottom, my legs are straight, I'm making sure my back isn't on the floor like that. I'm holding up and then I can come out like that. To do a tuck, uh, or a, sorry, a tuck up, I'm going to start in my hollow hold, pat my feet, and come up. Another good conditioning exercise are our arch holds. All right, these are gonna strengthen our back muscles. We have our arms out, our feet are together, and we're gonna push up. My head is down, and my limbs are up as high as I can get them. 
another great exercise for handstands or side handstands and wendy's our handstand holds against a wall for obvious reasons the better we get on our side handstands the longer we're going to want to be able to hold them and for that we need a lot of strength so to do those start a lunge hands close to the wall and squeeze try and hold those as long as you possible Now that you guys have practiced those, I want you guys to go back through the video and do all of those skills again. All right, that will really hone in your practice and make sure that you're squeezing your body and make sure that you're developing through the skill properly to so make sure that when we come back to the gym, your side handstands on beam are even better than